We have now arrived in our next destination as part of our 10 day road trip with Hertz Car Rental. This whole place to yourself. We have made it here in Katandawanis, which is located in the east of Karaminissa. Known for its huge waves and hilly terrain, we are going to show you what this island has to offer. So we've made it to our first stop, which is Balakai Point. But there's like no car park. It's just this. It's just a gate. Just a closed. gate which is closed, and then one sign which has fallen down saying Balakai Point. Uh, but some locals said that just park at the gate and then go up. So here we go. Look, this is. This is it, guys. One positive note: as we're the only car parked here, I think we might be the only ones. So that's nice. I don't know how long the hike's going to take. Hopefully not too long, because it's uh, getting a bit hot now. The sun's finally coming out, but I guess we'll see you at the top. I don't think there's an entrance fee, because no one's here. But yeah, we're going to start our walk up now, see how long it takes. Let's go. All right, guys, so we have arrived at Balakai Point, and this is amazing. It only took us about 10 minutes walk to come here, but I think you can take your car up and then I think you can park up down there because there's some loose rocks, so I think that's why the gate is closed. But hiking wasn't really that bad, it was only 10 minutes and that uh, keeps us going, isn't it? It but, was steep. <laughs> yeah, it was steep, but for this view, it's probably worth it. Oh, and there's no one here. It's just me and Zoe and the Carabaos. We're just up there <laughs> and they're just looking at us. <laughs> to be fair, these are some pretty fierce Carabaos. They look like they're going to charge at us at any moment, especially when the drone was up. That <laughs> triggered them. Like, they've moved. They're getting closer to us. But this place is amazing. The only thing you'll have to share it with is the Carabao and their poo. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of that. Uh, but it's an insane view. You can see the beach, you can see lots of random rock formations, beautiful blue sea. It's just so coastal and I love it. And it's open, isn't it? You yeah. can actually see three beaches. I saw three beaches. So there's two on our right side. Wow. And then there's another one on the left side, which is like the city, the city of Balai probably. But this is the first time I've seen something quite like this here in the Philippines, like so coastal, like everywhere you go, you've basically got this amazing coastal lookout. You know what Just this reminds me of? What? It reminds me of Cornwall. Oh yeah, it's like Cornwall. In the UK. It kind of is. Instead of sheep, we got caravan. Yeah. No, this place is incredible, honestly. And in the distance, you can just see massive, great big waves just crashing into the rocks because the sea here is pretty intense. I think this is like, uh, is it the only place in the Philippines that is part of the Pacific Ocean? Yeah. So that like, is why the waves are a bit mad yeah. here. And apparently Katanda one is, is actually known for its waves. Yeah, it, so. they are fierce. And there is actually a surfing beach, which we think is the one just down there. Um, so I think Probably we're going to go gonna there next. Over. But yeah, this place is amazing. Green hills, amazing rock formations with massive waves crashing into them. It just looks amazing. Also guys, we nearly forgot. There's no entrance fee, so you can literally just rock up and have this whole place to yourself. So we have arrived here at Puraran Beach. Um, we are here at the Majestic Resort. So there's actually two resorts here. One Puraran Beach Resort and one Majestic Puraran Beach Resort. And you have to pay a 20 pesos per person entrance fee for each of the resorts. Um, and then there's also a 30 pesos environmental fee. So it's basically 50 pesos per person, mm. depending which resort you go to basically. There's um, literally no one here isn't it? Yeah it's pretty empty. There's a volleyball court which is quite nice and then this is actually the surfing beach here on the island and the waves are pretty uh, pretty rough uh, but what's nice about this beach 
it's just really nice like the surroundings and it's an interesting beach like i've never seen so many like rock formations yeah. and then you've got all the greenery and the rice fields in the background so it's really really nice and it's a proper surfing beach like this it's is like strong, it? yeah we're like, not sure how much the surfing is cost it, it's what you would imagine a surfing beach to look like crazy we but we've just come to have a drink and to refuel so we both have got a Cali each, which by the way, we've only recently discovered and started drinking this. It's actually so nice. Mm. Um, so yeah, we're just going to refuel now. We've got one apple, one pineapple. Cheers. Mm. Nice. Yeah, good. So, yeah, just going to relax for a bit and then move on to our next spot because we spent a bit too long trying to make TikToks with the Carabao. <laughs> so. He was making a TikTok with the Carabao and wasted about an hour and a half. <laughs> so we need to start uh, going a bit more quicker to get everything we want to get in today. So. But we're going down now back to the hotel. So right. yeah, everything's we're on the like way. on the way. So. But yeah, I'm excited for the rest of the day. This, this is so chill though. It's so peaceful, no one here. Just the wave, the wind and the sand. Ah, mabasa ba kuya? Okay lang. Okay lang kuya? Dito tayo. Okay lang kung mabasa. Paano ma mas maganda kuya? Ah, uh, sige dito na lang. Alright guys, so we have arrived at Binurong Point. Um, there is an entrance fee of 20 pesos and an environmental fee of 30 pesos. But if you already went to Puraran, which we did earlier, we can still use that environmental fee here. Which is good and it's going to be a 20 minute hike and we had to get a guide for 250 pesos and look at that it's quite sleepy so there's two ways to get here one around the beach and there's another one where you actually go inside the forest but we're doing the one around the beach Twenty minutes later, we have arrived at the top. Look at this view! Oh my god! Oh, beautiful. The grass is actually perfect. Like it looks like someone's like lawn mowed it, but obviously they haven't. And then there's all these little rocks sticking out, and then the amazing view of the sea. Wow! It's, cool. it's very refreshing as well, isn't it? With the wind coming through. Oh. But I don't think we're gonna walk around this bit here because that's going to take forever so we're going to go to the main bit which is i think all the way down there where Kuya is going so let's go i can't wait to get the drone up oh my, oh my god. god look at this this is one of the best Few points I think we've ever been to. Yeah, it looks amazing. It's it doesn't insane. even feel like we're in the Philippines. No, this feels <laughs> like, I don't know, this is what I would imagine Scotland to look like. Yes. Like the Highlands. Oh. But it's just insane watching like this really blue, but really rough really water strong. crashing down on the rocks. And when there's a break between the waves, it's so clear you can see the bottom. You can see all the rocks under so the water. Blue. But it's so windy. And then you've got all this lovely green grass, just like a carpet. You have to be careful, careful you don't slip. I recommend taking your shoes off or your and just going there. Just have a good grip actually on the, on the grass. And then you've got all these rocks. It's, it's just, just sticking insane. out. Just look at that. So many. Oh my god. This is absolutely yeah, it's insane, honestly. It's, bre it's, it's breathtaking.
gate around behind me because cows kept coming down here and falling off the cliff into the water and dying. So that fence is to protect the cows. I haven't actually seen any cows, but that's kind of sad. So it's good that they've put something there to stop them falling. 20 minutes later. All right, so we had to rush back down because it started raining. Luckily, it stopped raining halfway through coming down. Uh, we were a bit worried about staying there whilst it was raining yeah, because it could have been getting, slippy. And the wind was getting quite strong as well. Yeah, but we highly recommend because it's just amazing. And people say it looks like Botanas. We've mm. never been to Botanas, but We've if seen it, pictures, but yeah. that literally looks like oh, there, There's a picture there's as well. A picture there. Yeah, it does look very similar. So if, you're, if you've been wanting to go to Botanas and it's too expensive for you, like it is for us, then maybe you could come here instead. It's a good alternative. Similar landscape and yeah, really, really nice. What more can we say? Five minutes later. Okay, so this is the current situation, guys. We've got punctured tire. I think we must have gone over a rock. I could hear this noise, but Zara thought it was just the road. And then we, eventually it sounded really bad. So we've stopped and it's completely ripped. So Zara's called someone to come and help us, but he's trying to start the process himself. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, is that, I remember changing, I've changed. Your voice sounds so, con so confident right now. It's okay guys, at least Hertz provide us with a spare tire. We'll probably have to replace the spare tire though. I'm not sure how much a tire costs in the Philippines, but grab there. Keep going babe, you're doing well. A few minutes later. Is that cool? Get the mother boy. Oh, then it's it. Don't try it. One hour later. Alright guys, so after this shenanigans, we are now here at Fleur de Lilies to have dinner. We missed the sunset because of um, because we broke down. <laughs> it was quite funny actually. But okay. yes. Luckily people stopped and helped. We had a whole lorry full of guys <laughs> and we had a motorcyclist who came and helped us yeah. all. So, uh -huh. all anyway, now. we are here at Fleur de Lilies. It's actually a glamping place. It looks yeah. amazing. Look at that. And look at the design there. Oh amazing. my god, it looks amazing. But we're gonna meet up with the owner and probably gonna have dinner. Yes. So yeah, let's go and eat. We're starving. We haven't even had lunch. Yeah, I know. We've lunch. only had breakfast. It was a late breakfast. Yeah, but no, let's go. Okay guys, whilst we wait for our dinner to be prepared, they've actually bought us some marshmallows to be toasted over the bonfire, which is so so nice of them. It was nice that they set up a bonfire. Uh, this place is really really nice by the way so we didn't find it because it wasn't on booking.com which is where we're looking it's actually on facebook if you want to stay here guys which i highly recommend i think minimum is 800 pesos a night which is really really good um so yeah check it out if you can and we're just waiting for our dinner they've also bought snacks so i think we're going to be very full tonight you might have to roll us home Alright guys, so the owner has served us a full-on feast. Like there's lobsters, beautiful express, sinigang, her speciality steak and mashed potato with corn on the cob, and some lechon kawali. Oh my god, I can't wait. Let's eat, let's eat. Now we had such a good dinner, it was so nice. And we highly recommend that you stay there. So we'll leave the link in the description to their Facebook page if you want to check it out. And then we've had a really good day today. Um, so far it's just been amazing. Like a lot of people compared this to Batanas. I can see why. And it's just so amazing driving around. Like it's so coastal. 
so such a different landscape to anywhere else and it just looks incredible so we really think you should come and check it out for yourselves um but if you like this video make sure to like share subscribe leave a comment down below and we'll see you in the next one peace bye